do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did a numerical based on boyle's law as well as we have also did a theory which is based on boyle's law and now we are going to do the next law that is charles law so let us learn about it. so friends uh, as on your screen this is a law which is based on charles law which states that it says that at constant pressure the volume of a given mass of a gas increases or decreases so it says that if a uh, given mass of a uh, gas has a particular volume and in that case suppose the pressure is kept to be constant so the pressure uh, so the volume can be increased or can be decreased by by 1 divided by 273.15 of its volume at 0 degree celsius for every degree rise or fall in the temperature it states that whenever uh, at constant pressure if a given mass of a gas is been kept uh, having a particular volume and if we increase the temperature or if we decrease the temperature then this will affect the volume of the gas so in simple words i could say that that if if i increase the uh, temperature uh, from that is from 0 degree celsius to a particular uh, uh, temperature then that will create a rise in the uh, volume by 1 by 273.15 and if i decrease the temperature then this will be giving a fall uh, a fall in the volume that is uh, that is also by 1 divided by 273.15 so therefore it depends on the volume so therefore the volume and the temperature are both dependent on each other when the temperature is been uh, when the pressure is been kept constant in simple words i could say that according to charles law it states that at constant pressure the volume of the given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature it means the volume is directly proportional to temperature and that also at constant yes at constant pressure so therefore the volume will increase if the temperature will increase and if the temperature will decrease then the volume of the that particular uh, gas will decrease so therefore this explains that the volume is directly proportional to the temperature so this was the second statement and which was very much easy to understand but let us understand that how the first statement is very much valid to uh, obey a charles law and how does it has made a statement for charles law so let us learn about that suppose let v0 be the volume of the given mass of a gas at 0 degree celsius so this is the temperature that i have kept i have kept 0 degree celsius as the temperature and the volume which is present uh, of the gas which is present at 0 degree celsius is said to be v0 so if the temperature is increased by t degree celsius suppose if i increase the temperature uh, from 0 degree celsius to t degree celsius at constant pressure and this all should be uh, at constant pressure so then the according to the charles law the increase in the volume will be as the first statement said that if we increase or if we decrease uh, the temperature then the volume will change so the volume will change from where the volume will change from v0 uh, multiplied by that is delta v that is the change in volume that is from v0 into t divided by 273.15 so this t is nothing but the t degree celsius that we have mentioned here itself so if i increase the temperature then this would be the change uh would take place on the original volume that is v0 and if i decrease again this would be the change but uh, the change will be in negative proportion so now what i could say is that the final volume that is vt will be vt that is the uh, total temp uh, total volume or the final volume which is equals to v0 the initial volume which was at 0 degree celsius plus delta v that is the change in volume after the increase uh, in the volume when i have uh, increased the temperature that is from 0 degree celsius to t degree celsius so this is what i have kept so what i could do is i could solve this also again so for that since we have the value of delta v so i will substitute the value here and let us see what is the answer we could get or how can we explain this charles law so therefore as you know that is uh, vt is equals to that is total volume which is equals to v not that is initial volume plus the change in volume that is delta v so in this case what we have got it as we have got the delta v value as v not into t divided by 
273.15 so this is what we have got so i could arrange this equation in a very simple form so this would be written as this can be written as v0 or v0 which is i'll take uh, uh, v0 as the common in this case so uh, in that case what i would get is 1 plus t divided by 273.15 so this is what we have got so i could arrange this thing so this would lead uh, let us to make this as 273.15 plus t the whole divided by 273.15 so this is the uh, value that we have got for the final temperature or uh, the uh, the, temp the volume if we increase the temperature from 0 degree celsius to, to t degree celsius so this is what we have got but in this case as we know that uh, 273.15 is nothing but 0 degree celsius itself so therefore i know that suppose at 0 degree celsius because it is said to be 0 degree celsius means it is the temperature at which the volume is V0. So therefore, I could take the 0 degree Celsius as T0 itself. But it is in 0 degree Celsius. So I can convert into Kelvin. So therefore, basically, if I have to convert into Kelvin, then this will be 0 degree Celsius plus 273.15, which is nothing but 273.15. So this is the value of T0 that I have got. But suppose if I increase the temperature from 0 degree Celsius to uh, T degree Celsius, that means what I am talking about. So suppose if I increase the temperature that is from uh, uh, that is from 0 degree Celsius to T, uh, T degree Celsius, then in this case what I could say is that suppose the T degree Celsius is something which I am increasing from 0 degree Celsius. So what will happen is this T degree Celsius plus 273.15 will actually be the T degree Celsius or I could say it as the temperature that is for T. So in this case what I could say it as the value that we have got or I could keep, uh, keep it as uh, capital T because uh, uh, this is somewhere we could get confused so I will keep it as capital T. So in this case if we look at the uh, formula that we have did earlier that derivation so in this case what i could say is at 273.15 plus t is nothing can be replaceable by this t while the 273.15 can be replaced by t naught so i could write the overall equation as vt which is equals to v naught into instead of T degree Celsius plus 273.15 I could write it as T the whole divided by 273.15 which is nothing but T naught so I could arrange this thing as Vt divided by T which is equals to V naught divided by T so this is something which clearly indicates that the volume is directly proportional to the temperature so in this case as i uh, sorry this would be the t naught one yes i have forgotten so this is the thing that we could clearly mention that the volume is being directly proportional to the temperature at constant pressure so this was based on charles law so this is the first condition while this is the other condition for an example even i could take like this also that is v1 divided by suppose if v1 is directly proportional to t1 so what i could write it as i could write it as v1 is equals to k that is a proportionally constant into T1. So I could write this thing as V1 divided by T1 is equals to K. Similarly, suppose if I take another condition like V2 which is directly dependent on T2. So therefore V2 is equals to K that is proportionally constant into T2. Therefore again the value of uh, V2 divided by T2 will be somewhere equals to K. So this implies that suppose if both are uh, having the same value suppose the proportionality constant have the same value that is v1 divided by t1 as well as v2 divided by t2 so therefore we could clearly indicate or we could clearly say that the formula could be written as according to charles law
that is v1 divided by t1 is equals to v2 divided by t2 so this is the formula this is what the Charles law was indicating so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have understood this concept very clearly along with the definition and along with the explanation that we have did right now so yes share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe e channel thank you so much